after a couple of months wait and about six weeks in lockdown we're finally drilling our poles for our house. So step one is to drill a 600 millimeter diameter hole into the ground down one meter. Following this as you can see in the background they're drilling uh, like a 300 diameter hole just down a couple of hundred mils just to get the pole started and then the pole is popped into the ground uh, into the smaller hole just so it stands up so our poles are 250 mils in diameter they're H5 treated so you'll notice three larger poles sticking out of the ground uh, these were done at a previous date uh, for testing with the geotech engineer to make sure that uh, reality was matching up with theory and it was then we're given the AOK -okay to proceed with this day so the bearing capacity of the poles is tested uh, using a driver as you can see here so that weight is a known weight and it's dropped from a known distance do some calculations and they can figure out the bearing capacity. So after the pole gets close to refusal after knocking it in, the stroke of the anvil is now measured with a height stick for 10 continuous blows and the distance that the pole travels is marked on the pile and measured. This is written down and named a pile set. An engineer's delight. So the rest of the poles were pushed into the ground with a vibration unit which is basically a large plate as you can see on the end of the digger uh, that slowly pushes the pole down. So a number of days later we filled up uh, the 600 diameter holes uh, with all up 9 cubes of concrete over 32 pile holes. You can see there the concrete gets dropped into the hole for wheelbarrow if it's too far from the truck. And then the concrete, I'm not sure what that thing's called but agitated into the hole to get rid of all the uh, air pockets. Yeah, so far everyone that's come to site to, to see this um, children's playground of poles sticking out of the ground has been blown away by how big the poles are and how many they are.